Patches, huh? I would have loved to have been at this pitch meeting. Guys, I hope you're ready to have your mind blown by my new game idea. It's Tetris, but with hats. Yes for your head. I mean, need I say more? And then a giant thought cloud appears above his head, filled with the copious sacks of dollar bills gained from the Hattress sales, stacked aboard his private yacht, the SS Titty Coke. Whoa, crazy. I didn't realize this game was designed by Alexei Pajitnov, the guy who created Tetris. You know, the game you could probably play right now in your microwave. Well, never mind. No need for the thought bubble fantasies. This guy was obviously knee deep in yacht hookers and blow already. So, Hattress. Hattress is more like Dr. Mario than its namesake in that you control a unit comprised of two hats and you drop them on other hats of various design. The mechanics differ slightly in that you have to build from the bottom of the screen, which is a row of living heads, while in Dr. Mario the viruses are positioned vertically so you can move the pills around, below, or above them. Unlike Dr. Mario, in Hattress once one of the two hats touches a pillar, the second one detaches and you can move it over to another stack if you're fast enough. So there's some skill, and for sure some strategy, to how you combine your headwear so you can best position everything. It starts off easy enough, but as the levels go on, your screen never clears of its mistakes, and once the fifth and sixth hats get added to the mix, things get real tricky real quick. These two bearded dudes, who I now realize are probably the Russian programmers costumed as factory workers, but to me look more like a couple of obnoxious mixology dudes who wear vests in the summer, release the hats down onto the heads of their various customers until 10 are sold, then the faces horrifically morph into the next bizarro hat aficionado. There's a Charlie Chaplin look-alike, a Dracula, a Frankenstein's monster, Abraham Lincoln, hey, even a woman. Another wizard crown, milady. Even while explaining it, this game sounds really dumb, and honestly I was expecting it to be horrendously bad, but in truth it's actually really fun. The graphics and music are decent enough, but like every puzzle game, the only thing that matters is how addictive the gameplay is. While not as entrancing as Tetris or the aforementioned Mario Doctor, Hatchis is definitely worth a run through. And now that I've said the word hat so many times that it's lost all meaning, I will never ever let one adorn my head again. Hmm. Unless I get turned into a vampire, because then that bowler is going to look pretty fetching on this future blood vaping prince of darkness.